We're all excited for the Sonic the Hedgehog movie. But is it going to be good, right? That's no. The, no. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna, no. Okay. <laughs> so my apologies. Well, here's the problem. The difficulty, I feel like, in translating a video game to the big screen mm. depends on the era of the video game. Yeah. Like modern day video games, it's like 20 or 30 or like 50 hours of gameplay. So much story and so much character development. You're talking like a Witcher, for example. Exactly, like yeah. a Witcher. And there's so many like just inherently like cinematic, memorable moments. And it feels like whittling it down to two hours is... It's not impossible. It's not impossible. It's kind of like it, it does it a disservice. But on the other hand, video games, like classic video games from back in the day, have so little plot. You can explain the whole game in like one sentence. Like Mario goes to the Mushroom Kingdom to rescue you a princess and also Luigi is there for some reason okay two sentences but you could probably mention he kills many turtles on the way yeah for sure absolutely yeah, that's fine too but of course we are talking about the Super Mario Brothers movie a big swing and a miss in terms of adaptation but it's a big swing isn't it yes that's right yeah Mario and Sonic have a classic history together we know that because they were both at the 1936 Olympics bitter rivals turn no no friends? they were both Nazi supporters oh that's a shame Mario big fan of Mussolini mm. Sonic was a Nazi experiment for obvious Oh, absolutely, that's right. How else would he get his speed? Yeah, that's it. Actual speed. <laughs> Actual Doing speed. Doing a lot of speed. Anyways, if people could leave a like on this video, that would be great because, look, there's not going to be a lot <laughs> to like here, if I'm honest. Oh, no. oh yeah, okay, right. If you, wanted, if you wanted to do an animated Mario movie, mm. it's all right there. That's yeah. what Mario looks like, but it's like, what do you hang a live-action movie on? I guess you build a weird future dystopia. Blade Runner covered in fungus, I guess. Yeah. I don't really know. I read that one of the, uh, one of the, the, the production designers was like, we should make it like Max Headroom. Yes. That TV series that was cancelled mid-season. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, the directors who worked on this actually worked on Max Headroom. That's not oh, a coincidence. So that wanes that. They try to ease you into the video game-ness of it with a 16-bit dinosaur explanation up top. Yeah. Told by like a real, forget about it. It's recounting the history of the Mario Brothers. A long, long time ago, the Earth was ruled by dinosaurs. So the cast, though, yep. Bob Hoskins, mm -hmm. John Leguizamo, Samantha Mathis, Dennis Hopper, Lance Hendrickson... Briefly, Fisher Stevens, who was the Indian guy from Short Circuit. Uh, he's, not really not, he's not really Indian. He's not really Indian. Excuse me, he's not really a lizard man either. <laughs> so that's that's great. Like the fact <laughs> that they managed to get all those people on board is really terrific. And there are some really interesting special effects and world building. I feel here to some extent. But why did they do this? Well, it doesn't see... Who's it for? Who's it for, exactly. I mean, you would imagine that this is for, like, summer vacation or whatever, and you set, you, you know you take your kids to the movies, but what kid is going to be like, Dad, is that 1960s countercultural icon Dennis Hopper <laughs> from Easy Rider? Is that who that is? Do kids want to see, because this is really who this is for, mm. do kids want to see a 50-year-old broadcast Mario Doing actual plumbing? Excuse me, he's canonically 25. Okay, you're right. <laughs> so he is. Mind. In the world of Nintendo. Side note, they have a very bizarre apartment. They've got, like, plungers on the walls, like they're rifles. <laughs> are they used plungers or are they display plungers? Yeah, no, they're plungers that they've done some great plumbing with. Ah, they're, okay. They've immortalised. So their whole apartment smells of poop. Yeah, 100%, okay, yeah. Uh -huh. What I think they were going for here was a the first Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Your yeah, Ghostbusters. Right. Mm, yeah. That kind of edgy, sort of kids-ish kind of movie. I think that's what this was. Because apparently Nintendo had no directions for the production team. They're like, just do whatever you want. We don't care. I've actually got what Nintendo thought of this movie, which we could talk oh, about. Oh, I'm excited for that end. later. Okay, but I want to talk about some other casting. At one point, they were considering Danny DeVito. Okay. Makes sense, yeah, I guess. Yeah, for sure. Uh -huh. uh, Tom Hanks was considered for the role of Luigi, but the failures of Turner and Hooch and Joe versus the Volcano led the studios to believe that Hanks was no longer a box office draw. Oh my God. Let Can you me... imagine that era? I know. Let me name his next seven films that came out after this. Sleepless in Seattle. Big hit. Philadelphia. Big hit. Forrest Gump. Big hit. Toy Story. Big hit. Apollo 13. Let me think. Big hit. That Thing You Do. Moderate hit. <laughs> Saving Private Ryan. Oh, big hit. Back on four. Huge hit. Yes. So I wonder if he had have done this, would he have had that career? Probably not, no. Yeah. Schwarzenegger also was wanted for King Cooper, as was Michael Keaton, who, would, why, why? who was so rich he would never have done it at this point. Yeah, because he'd just come off several Batmans? <laughs> yes, that's At right. At least one Batman. Two Batmans. He's King Cooper in this. He's not Bowser. No. Is that significant? Doesn't matter. <laughs> Is anything in this significant? Not really. Did they You're just, asking the wrong question. Did they base this off like the manual for Super Mario World? Well, it's funny you say that because there's some things here that are directly translated. Very few things, I might add. And yeah. some things are just in name only. I've got a list here. Yes. Uh, Big Bertha. 
nothing like the video game at all. Mm -hmm. Toad? <laughs> just a guitar guy? Apparently they wanted an actual musician, so they got Mojo Nixon. Mm. But they only got him because Tom Waits pulled out. Oh my they, god. They asked, they asked <laughs> gravelly voiced neo gothic singer Tom Waits, and he was like, sort of. Ah. No. <laughs> there was also an earlier version of this script with recognisable elements. But if any of these characters had different names, how far do you think you would have watched this movie if you didn't know it was Super Mario Brothers yes. and they had different names mm -hmm. before you figured it out? I think I would have got up to the costumes. Because Maybe I, the bob This, this, Yeah, probably the bob -omb, But I think this movie may have worked better and it would be better regarded if it was just like called like two weird guys from Brooklyn Brooklyn. fall into a parallel dimension. <laughs> We haven't even mentioned what the story is about. You touched on it briefly yeah. then, but they do stumble in a parallel dimension because when the comet that killed the dinosaurs hit Earth, it splintered the universe. So some of the dinosaurs went to live in one specific spot in another dimension. And they, yes. They evolved into humans. Exactly, and they, they want back in. Well, Cooper specifically wants to merge the universes. Mm. You know what he could do? Yeah. Just walk through that portal. And just just him. Yeah, just right. him. You know, right. why does he need to bring everything? Because who's he going to contend with? Like the Scapellis? Like those real estate moguls that when they perform corporate sabotage, they're wearing the shirts of the company that they're from? That's right. So I feel like if he just walked through with maybe two guys, maybe not even, he'd probably have a pretty good shot to take over New York. 100%, yeah. Yeah. How long did you watch this movie thinking to yourself, this movie's boring? <laughs> About the first 25 minutes of this movie is quite dull until they drop into the parallel universe. Yeah. Before that, it's just like... Regular plumbing and just stuff. Just regular plumbing and stuff. <laughs> okay, but I, I wasn't really bored because it's fascinating. Oh, like, yeah. it's not good, no. but it's fascinating. I'm also fascinated by the budget of this because it was a $48 million movie. Mm -hmm. And I think some of it is put to good use and some of it really isn't. Here's some comparison movies from 1993. I'm ready. Jurassic Park, $63 million, a little bit more. Mm. Fugitive, $44 million. Schindler's List, $22 million. Groundhog Day was made for $14 million. Wow, I mean, that's yeah. just a real town, isn't it? They're not building a weird <laughs> that is true, yes. dinosaur dimension uh -huh. or whatever. But there's things like the puppets that they make are incredible. Those big Goomba suits. It's clearly like a like a big rig that people wear on top of their shoulders with the tiny little animatronic heads. Apparently, there's 200 feet of cable inside Yoshi with nine puppeteers controlling him at any one time. You can't ride him, though. So, like, why put him in? <laughs> right? He's not even green. Right? He's just a dinosaur. Well, that's the thing. And Cooper, for the most part, is just a guy and he's got a forked tongue. <laughs> like he's a crooked real estate developer with a forked tongue. Or should I say a regular real estate developer? Oh, mate. I've got them. You really have. I really... But, like, they're just... What makes this... Um, it, ultimately, this world, Dino Hatton, isn't that much weirder than regular New York. It's just got some more fungus. It's got more fungus and, like, the cars have more spikes on them. Yeah. How many actual Nintendo nods, direct things, did you recognise? I think there's some sound effects. Yep. There's the bob -omms. Yes. There's the super scope, which oh, is yes. the de-evolution gun. Some jumping but that's there was not... some, definitely some jumping wasn't there <laughs> and i guess the outfits but the links are so tenuous that it's you're kind of looking for them and you're not even really sure if the thing that you've seen is actually a reference or again not. two weird plumbers from brooklyn <laughs> yeah that's right yeah better movie in my opinion what about how this movie disintegrates the two towers a chilling insight <laughs> Yep. into the future of regular Manhattan. I think at one point somebody says after that, they'll do anything for publicity or whatever, these bloody, these real estate agents. Yeah, they'll disintegrate the two towers mm -hmm. for publicity's sake. That's right. That's good for your brand, isn't it? It did wonders for the Taliban. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Well, we all know who they are, don't we? Well, that's a good point. Mm -hmm. You may not like them, but you know you them. Know them. Uh, so the directors of this, Rocky Morton and Annabelle Jankel. Husband and wife team? Husband and wife team. They were hired based on their work on Max Headroom. Coming yeah. back to that again for some reason. There you go. So the cast and crew disliked them so much for their alleged obnoxious and controlling behaviours. Bob Hoskins referred to them as the sea bomb and the cow. Uh, and at one Who's point... Who's who? <laughs> Who's to say? Yeah. And at one point, Dennis Hopper was so fed up with a drawn out and constantly changing production that he spent almost three hours yelling at the directors, holding up filming. That's a long time. That is a long time. Three hours of yelling, of straight yelling. <laughs> right? Here's a fact that I know. It was meant to be five weeks of filming, but Dennis Hopper was there for 17 weeks. Oh my god. Mm. His son said to him, why did you make that terrible movie? And he said, well Henry, I did that so you could have shoes. And his son said, dad, I don't need shoes that badly. <laughs> Brutal. <laughs>
Uh, John Leguizamo and Bob Hoskins were apparently constantly drunk throughout the filming of this to kind of get through it. Again, 17 weeks. And in a 2011 interview, Bob Hoskins described the film's production. It was a fucking nightmare. The whole experience was a nightmare. It had a husband and wife team directing whose arrogance had been mistaken for talent. After so many weeks, their own agent told them to get off this set. Fucking nightmare fucking idiots and that was <laughs> nearly two decades after he filmed it the amazing thing is though he did Roger Rabbit where he talked to nobody for months that's right yeah and this is the one that broke here but I yes. guess when you've got no clear direction here's the thing though I think they did know what they're doing to an extent they had this vision but it was just not a good vision. Because I think when you go into a movie, I think with directors, you have to have a certain sense of arrogance and, you know, mm. like a, a surety about yourself. Exactly, that's you know right. I a mean? confidence that inspires others to do their best work. <laughs> yes, that's right. For 17 weeks, you know? This is one of my favourite things in it as well of movies like this. It's a cliffhanger ending because I love the idea of just a movie so crap and yet so bold that they're like, we'll see you again. We'll see you again right, real yeah. soon. Yeah. <laughs> there is actually a sequel comic to this, though. Some of the writers who were involved in it uh, a few years back actually made a webcomic of the continuing adventures of Mario and Luigi. They go back to Dino Hat and it's just like, oh, they're all dead. <laughs> <laughs> Are we being too harsh on this? Um... Because I know it's considered like a cult it's classic. It's a cult classic, right. But it's not good, right? I can see how you could look at it and go, this is fun and there's some fun elements and why did they do this? But objectively, and I don't like to use that word because, you know, there's no real such thing in film criticism, but not not, not good, right? Let's, let's, focus, let's focus on the positive. What's good? <laughs> What's, What's good, good in this? Well, this is what Nintendo thought. How about that? Shigeru Miyamoto, Mario's creator, said, In the end, it was a fun project they put a lot of effort into. But he also said, The one thing that I still have some regrets about is that the movie may have tried to get a little too close to what Mario Bros. the video game was. And in that sense, it became a movie that was about a video game rather than being an entertaining movie in and of itself. That, to me, says that he has not seen this. <laughs> <laughs> Look, the man speaks in riddles, but sure. I get what he's saying in the sense that they went, okay, we've got to pile in strange references. You know, Mario's got to jump because Mario jumps in the game. That's something you could take out. That being said, you take it out, What what is this movie? <laughs> yeah, right, you know? yeah. It's just Italians running amok, as we, as we know. <laughs> They should have gone into running, running a buck. Yeah. Look, that being said, even though Nintendo were like, they gave it a good go, we didn't get another Nintendo movie until Detective Pikachu. So this did something to make right. them go, let's not do this ever again. This obviously made them be very wary of attaching their name to things like this. We did get some animated series stuff. You've probably seen some of those, which mm -hmm. is much more faithful. That's the Mario universe. It's a, it's a fun, whimsical world with kind of like mm. fun little caricatures. How would you do this as a movie? Because they've got Sonic coming into the real world. Yeah, right. Would you just do a completely animated Mario doesn't talk much 3D film where he has to do a rescue? I mean, you could, but at the same time, that's what the video games are. Yes, that's it, what that's I'm saying. That's Mario yeah. doing, a, doing a rescue. Yeah. Uh, and you can't have Mario the kind of squat little animated man coming into the real world because then people He's will be a like, freak. where did you come from? <laughs> yeah. yeah, and I mean, at this point as well, you know, when, when you talk about Super Mario Galaxy or Super Mario Odyssey, these games at this point have, you know, they have storyline and they have characters and, yeah. and we don't need a movie version anymore, I think. Well, you'll be happy to know that there's a Super Mario Brothers movie scheduled for 2022. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want some good news off the back of this, though? Yes. Lance Hendrickson met Jane Evans, a woman he would go on to marry on this film. There you go. She was his second wife, and he's had a third since. Good for him. <laughs> it's still good news. Hey, when you know, you Love know. Love blossomed. <laughs> That's right. Like a fungus. <laughs> like a fungus. Anyways, this has been Care About a Garbage. What is... What... Do you, What's your favourite part about this movie? How about that? Sure. If you like Mario video games, what's your favourite bit of this? Is it the bit where they jumped? <laughs> Is it the bit where they danced? Is it the bit where they looked into some dirty plumbing? Is it the bit with the big rubber T-Rex in a big bucket? But if you do have a suggestion for Caravan of Garbage, we'd love to hear it. We're open to all suggestions, aren't we, Mason? Absolutely. Is there a better video game movie than this? There's not a lot of them, but yeah. There's definitely... Oh, no, there sure is. Street Fighter is better than this. No, it makes sense. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not all Street Fighting, but, you know, they're fighting each other in arenas one-on-one. -on -one. Also, of course, if you'd like a hint towards next week, here's a clip.
I'm at Mr. Sunday Movies on Twitter. I'm at Wikipedia Brown on Twitter. Please tell us a very specific and niche thing that we missed from this stupid movie. What error did we make about it? Please get real pedantic. That's my favourite thing. Is it, is it something about a bob bomb? <laughs> is it something about a some bullet bills? That's a there was a That's neon a sign. And we missed that, didn't we? We, a, didn't, we, we didn't say him. that, did we? <laughs> we didn't just say it on a list of things. So get us with that, with a list of things. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'll see you next week. Grab that jammy, guys. We'll see you next week. Thank you.